Hey guys, Rob here, Andy behind the camera. How's it going? All right. uh, in a moment that uh, shows how Andy's and my minds are constantly kind of on the same wavelength, unfortunately. Uh, I was sitting in the office Thanks. <laughs> reading an article uh, about you know alternative ways to do conditioning and Andy, having no idea what exactly it was that I was reading, pops up this idea, go ahead and tell him what you told me. Ladders. Ladders, right? Throwing ladders into lifting, right? And, uh, you know, off that, kind of we just decided we wanted to shoot a quick video for you guys about this. So, uh, just kind of shoot a little view of the setup right here real quick. So we have a barbell set up, we have a ladder here uh, set up, and I'm going to show you guys, Andy's going to run through the workout fairly uh, in a minute or so. Uh, so kind of what we wanted to talk about real quick is these alternative methods to conditioning. So the traditional kind of conditioning people end up going through when they're preparing for their sport, you know, they'll come in, they'll hit their lift, and then they'll head out, maybe do some sprints, maybe 100 meters, 200 meters, knowing most athletes are usually running something longer than that, which uh, begs the difference in the argument between you know, sports specificity and just kind of regular conditioning and where should people be at. We love this idea of mixing your lifting in with short, explosive bursts and keeping it at a you know pace uh, that's high enough to mimic what you're going to experience in your everyday life in sport. Or sorry, in your sport, not as your everyday life, but in your sport. So Andy's going to hit a workout, he's going to hit some front squats, he's going to run through a ladder, he's going to do some sprints. This gives you all the variety, this gives you the uh, basically what you're going to see again in your sport on an everyday basis. Right? Uh, let's flip around the camera real quick. Right. I keep saying in your sport on an everyday basis. Uh, in your sports, all right, so again Andy's going to hit this real quick, he's going to hit 10 front squats with this weight, he's going to run through Icky Shuffle, whenever you're ready I'm just going to keep talking while you hit it. All right. So he's going to hit. 10 front squats and he's going to knock these out as fast as he can, up and down. Good. There you go. Good. There you go. This is the last one. He's going to rack it up. Oh, nope. I counted wrong. There you go. He's rack it up and he's going to hit right in to the icky shuffle. So we hit a little bit of a strength stimulus. Now we hit a little bit of a skill stimulus with the conditioning piece into it. He's working on his footwork. He's working on his conditioning. We hit a little backwards icky shuffle. So again, he's really got to think, really got to focus on this skill as he's running through it. Good, there you go. Come on, come on. Good, now he's gonna hit five push press with the same weight. Or five jerks. There you go. That's a push press. Nice. One more. Good. He's going to cap it off with a sprint down and back. So make a nice cut. Good. Hopefully, don't sound as heavy footed as Andy as he's running. It's the shoes. It's the shoes. They're vans. They're vans. Yeah. He's working out in vans awesome. over here. Good. So, that's a nice little workout that you can hit. Uh, we have a couple ways that we can do this, kind of one way is just hitting it at a nice, I wouldn't say leisurely, but a nice uh, nice tempo where you can get in, hit your set, hit your uh, icky shuffles in between, your footwork, your sprints, and then take your time back to the bar. You can also do it, as Andy was saying, and if he can talk, I'll let him explain it. Uh, the way I really like to do it is uh, use ladder work and sprints in substitution for longer runs. We're in a Metcon, you might have a 200 or 400, whoa, <laughs> or even 800 meter run. You can swap in some ladder work, some short sprint, something like a suicide. Keeps your heart rate up at a little bit of a higher level, and it feels more realistic to a game where you're going to be doing some sprints. Exactly, and the closer you can get to uh, you know, a game situation in the weight room, the better off you're going to be, Absolutely. and this is what's going to mimic it. Again, either hitting it as a, con a conditioning piece on its own, or as a you know nice easy pace. Still, those would be two things that'll transfer over. All right. Cool. Cool. All right. Later, guys.